Hey everybody, this is Ernest Gonzalez with the Office of 21st Century Learning EdTech and Design Team. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you all how to create an online assignment. So what I'm gonna do is from the module view, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Inside of my unit, which is called week one, I'm gonna click the plus sign and I'm gonna choose the option to create an assignment. And of course, click new assignment and name it. This time I will call it 1.7. And we're going to do, an, just call it online assignment, just a generic name, but feel free to title it something more descriptive, descriptive, excuse me. Now I have my assignment listed into the module, which is unpublished. I'm going to click on the assignment to edit it and also at the end, save and publish it so my students can see it. Of course, click edit to be able to change any uh, of the settings for this assignment. <clears throat> Up at the top, you're going to have the rich content editor where you can display all of your directions and assignment overview for students. Be sure to watch the tutorial on how to use the rich content editor to display all the different settings here for your students. Just below, I want to create a point value for this assignment and choose which assignment group it belongs to. I only have assignments and assessments at this point, so I'm gonna leave it as an assignment group. And I'm going to display this to my students as a percentage. Now, the key thing to consider when setting up your online assignment is to choose the option that says online. And we will briefly talk about each of these. If I select text entry, this is going to allow the students in, to have the rich content editor as the way to respond to this assignment. That means they have the same exact options that I did as before to be able to type in text, add links, add images, and even record audio. If I select website URL, my students are going to be able to submit a website to me. Canvas takes a, a picture of the assignment of that web page right as it's being submitted and sends the link to me. This would be a good option if I'm having students create a blog entry and they can get a link to it, or even doing things such as maybe creating animations with uh, Adobe Spark, for example, when, when they're finished with that, it publishes a link and I can ask them to turn it in using the website URL option. <clears throat> I may also choose media recordings in which this allows the students to upload files or even use something called the studio for them to, uh, the students to be able to record either their desktop or have the webcam come on. And then the final option is file uploads. And this is a great option because this allows the students to be able to grab anything that's on their device. For example, they might even work on paper, take a picture of their work, and then use their device to upload it. File upload is also fantastic for allowing students to be able to go to their Google Drive and pull in a project from their drive as well, or anything that's stored on their drive. There is the option to, to, to restrict certain types of files. So which ones do I want to allow? For example, I may want to only allow a doc or a JPEG. This is, this is where I would restrict that. For now, I'm gonna leave this open. And I could leave all of these on and give all of these different options to my students to respond. In this example, I will allow text entry and a file upload. Of course, there's additional settings such as how many times your students will have to attempt this assignment, whether this is a group assignment, and whether option the option to have peers review. Notice we do have the option to choose how we want to assign this out. This can be done to everyone that's in this course, or I can also click add and choose specific students or sections of this course to have due dates. You have your due date of when it is actually due, and then you also have a way to include when the assignment is available from. I'm gonna click Save and Publish, and that should conclude creating my online assignment. If you have any other questions, be sure to check out our other videos or visit us at www.saisd.net slash edtech.